investigations into drug abuse, sodomy, bribery, pimping, the cash and carry operations of the prisons in Nigeria, and investigative journalists decided to do a little bit digging into Ikoyi prison. Before the authorities take my freedom away from me, the first thing they do is to give me a final semblance of it by unfentering my hands from the handcuff, as is the custom. The name of this person is Fisayo Soyombo. He decided to do an underground cover work. That was just before entry the dock, he said. Minutes later, the same man who released the handcuff returns to hand me over to a policeman who accompanied by Zenob Sadiq, the lady posing as my sister. They led me downstairs. First stop on the ground floor is the office of the prison service. Man in it, comfortable sitting opposite the entrance, the girl wielding prison water, legs waggling, whose shirt hangs loosely on the wall inside, leaving a trunk scantily covered by a singlet. Inside that office are three more warders. The next room is a holding cell for momentarily detaining inmates until the arrival of the prison boss that convinced them to Ikoi. I expect to be led to the holding cell, but I am taken into the prison's office and encouraged to take a seat. What manner of magnanimity is this? I was wrong. The three officers summoned my sister. You can have a look at that holding cell and see if it's the kind of place a human being should stay. One of them tells her with faint sympathy. Your brother can stay in our office, but it will cost you 10,000 naira. My sister takes a moment to peep into the olden cell. That is the assumed sister, part of the investigative journalist. Then returns to bargain. The negotiating parties reach an agreement of 5,000 naira collected by the singlet donning water. Money in the bag, the water's initial measured disposition turns happy go lucky. I notice these with which they regale one another with tales of similarly shady financial deals. The day Naira Mali was billed to be taken to prison, I was on this chair making cool money, says one of them. I make some good money, I won't lie. Transfers were just going up and down. Naira Mali, the Ipo artist whose original name is Aziz Fashola, had been arraigned as at a federal court in Lagos on May 20. By the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) on 11 counts of alleged internet and credit card fraud, a second warder described how he facilitated the payment of 300,000 naira to a senior colleague of his in Abuja by a man who wanted to smuggle all his three children into the employ of the Nigerian Prison Service, recently renamed Nigerian Correctional Service. During a recruitment some years ago, through unqualified Though unqualified, all of all the three were eventually employed by the service. It suddenly dawns on the border that an ongoing promotion exercise in the prison's service offers him fresh opportunity for corrupt enrichment. Let me quickly call the man. He may be interested in a deal to facilitate his children's promotion he has, running his hand through his breast pocket of his phone. If you have your money, you can never suffer. In prison, you know, when Naramali came out, he came up with this song Inside Life and he was talking of Sopi. And a lot of people felt like you don't have to talk about this out there in public. But the truth of the matter is that that is what this young man saw in prison. So, seeing the lack of restraint with which they discuss acts of bribery and corruption, I approached them for guidance on the allocation of accommodation in preaching in prison. Apparently, it's a high wire fraud involving prison officials in court and those in the yard proper. You can get a cell for 30,000 naira, one of the waters tell me. You can also get for 100,000 naira or 150,000 naira. You can even get a cell for 1.5 million naira, a million and 500,000. <laughs> of course, he said, when Ayodele Fayoshi was remanded in Ikoi prison, what kind of cell do you think he stayed in? Fayoshi, the immediate past former governor of Ekiti State, was remanded at Ikoyi Prison in October 2018 at the start of his 2.2 billion naira fraud trial initiated by the EFCC. Another word that cuts in, don't worry, you can never suffer in the prison yard, he said, as long as you have money. Patience, a third one amongst them, urged me. The waters at the prison have warned us of striking deals with inmates 
while in court. He explains, they told us to leave them to push their own deals when the inmates get to the prison. So when we get there, we will hand you over to the warders. You will negotiate with them. Minutes later, one of the warders, dark, mild mannered, and diminutive, walks up to him, asks him if I'm making progress with my bill conditions. The question confounds me who makes progress on bill application within two hours of a court hearing? My lawyer is working on it, I reply, but it is too early to know since it's just a few hours ago we left the court. No, 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 it doesn't mind, he said. I have a lawyer in this court who will help you perfect your bill today today. In fact, you will not get to Ikoyi prison at all. You will go home straight from here. He works in a in concert with the court authorities. I call him right now and he will be here any minute if you want. So he said I was stunned and curious in one breath. I know the now in the affirmative. In a matter of minutes, the lawyer ostensibly in his late forties or early fifties shows up. He speaks in careful, considered and restrained patches, sporadically wiping the legs of his glass with a silky piece of cloth. What exactly is your offense? He begins, then proceeds to my hearing bill conditions. He assures me that the problematic components of my bill requirement will be waived, but the process will cost me money. That is what he decided to share. Did the magistrate order you to pay any money to the registrar account? He asked me. Hmm. Yes, 150,000 error I said in error. It would have been it should have been 300,000 at the rate of 150,000 per shorty. Okay, that's not a problem. Mr. John as he introduced himself says, "Can you make everything 200,000 error?" I tell Mr. J, "I can't. That's a lot of money. 50,000 error on top of the 150,000 is a lot of cash, but he disagrees. You see, I'm very close to the magistrate," he said. "I'm very close to the man, therefore we will waive many of the bail conditions for you we have it for a while in 180 170 180 we eventually settled for 170. john takes a quick look at his watch it's a little past 3 pm hurry and get the money it's almost too late already why did you wait till this long lament today may, may or may not be possible if you had mentioned it immediately the court rose says around 2 pm i would have been able to totally guarantee you that you will go home today today without ever reaching the prison we exchange numbers and I promised to call but I never did. The plan really is to end up at Ikoyi prison. Instead, I fold my secret devices, device and I tuck it away carefully. Yes, I taped all the conversation held inside the prison office in the court premises. The original plan was to put the device away before going to prison, then retrieve it afterwards. I have been told that there was literally nothing I wanted to smoke into the prison that I could not. I only need to grease the palms of waters and they will fetch it for me. But with accommodation negotiations set to take place on arrival at the prison, I have begun to know the ambition of smuggling in the device outrightly at point of entry. This was not the original plan, but if it works out, I will have more evidence of prison yard corruption. If it fails, I am doomed. Big risk. I know, but I do I will do it all the same, he said. The prison waters do not quite know what to make of me when they find a hidden device on me. He supposedly made during the routine search the, at the entryway shortly after Atikoyi prison bus convened the latest inmates pull over at the prison gate. After a second and more thorough search, during which nothing else was found on me, they hand me over to the section, a position occupied by the most senior convict in a cell. The welcome cell, I would later find out this was under strict instructions, no phone calls. That was what they told me, no phone calls. I will later find out these strict instructions. No frivolous interactions with inmates. Very early the following morning, Sukomi Ijadon Lade, third Musenior Wada in Ikoi prison, sent for me. They had seen the videos, they had extracted the memory card from the device and watched footage of the five prison officials demanding bribes from me and the court official negotiation negotiating a premature bill with me. Sukomi as he is widely known, asked me to confess, who are you and what is your mission here? But he was asking a question a few hours too late. I spent half of the night deliberating on what to expect in the morning. I'd imagine that in the best scenario, some senior official would have been thoroughly mortified by the sight of their bribe demanding colleagues captured on tape and I would be keen to convince me about helping to further unravel the bad guys in the system. 
I did not deceive myself though. This thinking was more or less illusory. I had also thought that in the in the past scenario, I had been handed over to the police and the worst I'll be extrajudicially executed. After several hours of carefully considering all possibilities overnight, I resolved that even if they held a gun to my head, I would not disclose my true identity. I knew once I did, that was the end of the story. After five excruciating emotionally destructive days in police cell, I was was not prepared to ruin everything so cheaply. Seeing I am unwilling to offer my useful any useful information, so committee the assistant chief accused me of plotting a jailbreak. You are here to understudy the prison security so that you can send the videos to your gang members and say you are planning a jailbreak or you are working for Boko Haram. You are a Boko Haram spy. Uh, well, he said he did not flinch. Instead, I stuck to the original storyline I uh, preconceived to offer in the improbable circumstances that my cover was blown. At this point, so come sense for a cane and ordered me to remove my shirt and trousers, leaving only my singlet and boxers. He then decided on me three rounds of beating, the first with several lashes of cane searing straight in my back, leaving me with blood and blisters, the second similar pattern, and the next day handcuffed me, the last with a thick, st thick stick targeting the interior and exterior joints of my ankle, knees, hips, elbows and shoulder. And I still refuse to disclose that I am a journalist. And I had to enjoy and endure all of the pain. The first benefit of enduring the pain is that I am still accorded the treatment of a regular inmate. Therefore, I am sent for registration and documentation. The documentation was inside a building opposite the assistant chief office, a very big one. In the, in the fi very final stage, a convicted inmate tells me to step forward for my cash. The procedure is always that an inmate turns in his position, including cash at the gate. At the end of the documentation, the money goes to the records department from where it can retrieve a small amount every time it is required for a specific purpose. Just before I collect mine, one of the three convicts, they are easily recognizable in their deep blue uniform, whispers some instruction into my ear. You will give the woman 1,000, he said. Then you can have the rest. It's a standard practice, I soon find out. Every inmate who comes in with cash must give up some of it at every registration point in bribes demanded through proxy. But with the full knowledge of the receiving water, it looks a small amount, but month end it will be some stash of notes in dubious earning. In my one week in the prison, there were 16 new inmates on the day with the last number of new inmates. On one day, there were 45. If only five had enough cash to forfeit 1,000, that's 5,000 naira daily, amounting to a total below or above 100,000, depending on the number of court sittings in the month. Numerous hard working Nigerians do not even earn that. I give up 1,000 error of my 7,200 as instructed. I received a slip indicating my new cell will be D2, that is block D2 cell 2. I ask to be given the outstanding 6,200 but the convict tells me that the money will be handed over to the warder overseeing the block, a happy go lucky albino who seemed very popular among inmates. 6,200 naira quickly became 5,002. The fresh 1,000 deduction I'm told is to guarantee nobody in the cell lays hand on me. Five inmates forfeit. A five a thousand naira daily and another one hundred thousand is corruptly earned monthly, month hand. So these guys decide to share more some of the things I saw in prison and it is the common practice. The same thing you find out there is the same that you will find in the prison. The same place where people are supposed to learn um, to become a better person is actually a home, a, a place filled with corruption so he said before they knew who she was one of my visitors had actually been made to pay a bribe of 1000 at the prison gate before they would be allowed to even see me so also one of the few lawyers who visited me was any asked at the gate if he was willing to enter a deal to relocate me to a more enjoyable cell they said it is clean and it is neat so guys this is what it is um, what's your opinion about what we have in prison not different from what we have outside the prison. May I remind you to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below. Please do tap on it so you'll be notified whenever our videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping.